Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar and today we are going to discuss about sequence object, how to create in Oracle database and what is sequence and uh, by using sequence what kind of uh, the operations we can do and what are the facilities I can you I can apply or what kind of facilities I am getting with the help of sequence. Okay? So now we will discuss here sequence, sequence. So, what exactly sequence? Okay, the sequence is nothing but the sequence is nothing but. So, simply I can say it is a database object. Okay, is nothing but uh, I can say it is a database object, database object, and uh, this object I am going to using to generate uh, generate sequence numbers to generate here sequence numbers. Okay. Uh, you can generate sequence numbers on table. So, when you want to uh, generating the sequence numbers okay, on a particular table column on a particular on a particular a particular column of table column of table automatically automatically then there I can use what now the sequence object now. Okay. So, that is actually main uh, the reason uh, why we need to create a sequence object, clear now? So, what it was telling here, it is a database object to generate sequence numbers on particular column of a table automatically. Okay. This kind of uh, facility when you want to apply on the table, then we can use what now? Sequence object. Okay. And this sequence, even though we can say that it is going to providing the facility is called as a auto increment value facility. It is going to providing what now? Auto increment value facility. It was going to provided here. Okay. So, auto increment is nothing but automatically the values are incremented okay, on your particular column. So, this is what we called the sequence, uh, the purpose what it is. Okay. But this sequence when you want to use in your Oracle database, first of all we should know that how to create a sequence. If I want to create a sequence object, what kind of syntax I need to follow here means, then we have a small syntax for this. So, what is the syntax for sequence object? Okay. So, I am using here my syntax was create and even though I can say or replace replace, but or replace it is not a mandatory, it is a optional okay. and create or replace. Then I have to give you your sequence is a predefined keyword okay. sequence and later I want to send my sequence name. Okay. After that along with the sequence object creation, we have some parameters also there and these parameters are representing how the sequence numbers I want to generate on my table column. Okay. So, here view we have a few parameters are there okay. in that the first parameter here start with value okay. and here the value is representing n, the n is represent the number. That means, your sequence starts with which number either 1 or 10 or 20 or 11 or 12 from which number onwards do you want to generate your sequence numbers. Okay. So, that is what we can say n is representing. Later in the same to same we have here min value is n. So, min value means in my sequence, in my sequence what is minimum value. So, what is my minimum value of the sequence that is represented here min value parameter. In the same to same I have here increment by n. So, this parameter is going to represent what it is now. How much increment do you want to give in between sequence numbers? Okay. So, one number to another number, how much uh, difference or increment you want to give it? Uh, that, that is what it was telling to us increment by parameter. The next uh, max value. The max value is representing what now? In your sequence, what is your maximum value? 
So, how we can say in the sequence minimum value how much and maximum value how much that maximum value is going to representing you. And later two more parameters are there those parameters are we called a first one no cycle, no cycle parameter otherwise uh, cycle. So, cycle and no cycle these are again two parameters are there. But here cycle means what it is now. So, if you want to repeat your set of sequence numbers, if you want to repeat your set of sequence numbers, then we can use cycle. If you do not want it to repeat your set of sequence numbers, then by default what now? No cycle. So, no, no cycle means what now? It is a default parameter and your set of sequence numbers are not repeating, yes or no? So, cycle means if you want to repeat the set of sequence numbers, you can use cycle. Later on, uh, we have one more thing and one more parameter that is called a no cache and uh, what next? Uh, cache n. So, your cache is nothing but a file, temporary file creation. So, whenever you want to store your set of sequence numbers in cache memory in your uh, server side application, okay, then you can use a cache, temporary file is created. Otherwise, you do not want it, then you can just uh, remove this cache okay, while you are creating of sequence. So, these are what now the parameters of sequence we called and every parameter is having some reason. Okay, what I said, so start with number that means your sequence number starts with from which number onwards and after that what is your minimum value in the sequence, what is your increment value in between sequence numbers and what is your maximum value and no cycle it is not repeating the set of sequence numbers. If I am using cycle means the repetition of set of sequence numbers again and again and no cache means there is no temporary files we are creating in server location. Cache means we are creating on some temporary, one temporary file we are creating in server location for storing of set of sequence numbers in place of database memory. Okay, so and your cache whatever n is there, when you created cache file, cache file maximum and minimum sizes we have here. So, minimum the cache file minimum is 2 KB and maximum is 20, okay. 20 KB it will be there. So, minimum 2 KB and maximum 20 KB this is cache file when you want to create a cache file in the server location then minimum cache file starts with 2 KB and maximum 20 you will be create with this particular sizes. Okay. So, these are what now uh, the syntax and parameters of sequence object and now by taking of this syntax now we will see a small example how we can create a sequence object and that object with some parameters and these parameters as per my requirement that means these parameters values you can set depending on your requirements. Okay. So, we will set all parameters along with sequence object and later how to apply on the table how the later the values are generated. Okay. So, let me see a small example for understanding of this sequence how to work. So, I just come out here uh, to open our uh, database and with uh, I, I connected with the uh, Scott and Tiger and after connected uh, I need to set some properties here. So, page size and the same to same I just uh, set lines okay, that I just uh, clear it. So, now this is what uh, we have here okay, the Oracle uh, database uh, editor I was open SQL plus editor and now I am going to preparing our sequences now. So, first of all what you want to do you just create your sequence. Okay, I am creating here sequence, my sequence 1 is q1 I was given and later you have to use your parameters start with 1 suppose in the same to same I am taking your mean value 1. So, start with and mean value these two parameters I am taking same number okay. even the different numbers also we can take, but in the initial example I am showing what it is now same value I am taking now and later we will see one more different example with the start with and min value. Later increment, increment by suppose 1. So, I need to increment for every sequence 1 only and later I just give it here max value, max value I was given 3. Okay. But in this example uh, what I did here I am not using any cycle and cache. So, without cycle and without cache 
I am just using a normal sequence I am creating with the, the 4 parameters. What is your starting and minimum, increment, maximum, that is it, okay. But I am not taking here any cache or any cycle, okay. So, this is a small example we just, uh, uh, we just created here and now I just created this one, sequence is created. After once the sequence object is created, then what you want to do, this object you can go to apply on your required column in the table. Okay. So, that is what I am going to do now, I am creating a table now. So, create table, uh, for example, test 1 is one of the table I just are preparing here. Uh, some serial number, I will take your the data type is number okay. and later uh, I will take names and I am taking your varchar 2 of uh, some size. So, this is one table I just prepared here and uh, to execute this table, table is created. After created this table, then you can go to insert your data. So, but before that, if you want to see the table whatever we design, the test one, okay, there is no rows in this table, okay. And now I am going to inserting here. So, one by one record I am going to insert. So, insert into the test one table and sending some values of. So, now what you want to do now? In this table, the whatever the two columns I designed, serial number and name, name is a varchar and serial number is a number type. So, on this serial number column, that means this column is going to sequence column or uh, the values generating column. So, in place of serial number, in place of serial number column, what I want to send, okay, along with my insert query means my sequence name dot here, the two, that means one pseudo column I am using in my sequence that is called a next val. So, next val is a pseudo column of sequence and this column is going to representing to generating your next value in the sequence. So, what is next value of the sequence? The next values are one by one generated. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, like it will be generating next value. So, that next value I am using now, okay, and later. Here, as it is, uh, you want to call your second column names, okay. And now, see now. Now, what is happened here? When you insert the data into this table, then I do not need to insert a value for sequence column, it is nothing but serial number column. So, I am going to inserting only that column which is not a sequence column. So, which column is not a sequence means names column. So, that means the user has a chance to insert the value for non sequence column only. But sequence column value automatically your system is going to generating that numbers whatever you was given at the time of uh, sequence creation. So, that will be taken by your system. So, now you can see I am going to see when I go to enter it was asking only name column value, names column value is only asking, but it does not ask uh, serial number column. It means that the serial number column automatically that column value is generated by system. So, that is why it does not ask with the help of sequence, it does not ask it. And now, I am going to enter some value A to enter. So, one row is inserted successfully. In the same to same, next I will enter B, it is also inserted successfully. And later I inserted 3, it is also inserted successfully. So, your 3 values, that means 3 names I inserted now. So, A, B and C, okay. So, that means what is happening here? For each value internally on your serial number column, the numbers are generated by system 1, 2, 3, okay. Then what I asked here? My start with the value 1 and even though minimum value is also 1, increment 1, maximum value 3. That means in this example, the 3 records, the 3 values I inserted into my names column, it means that your maximum value whatever we was given, the 3 that already we reached, that means already we reached to your maximum value, okay. So, that is why what is happening here, the next level user trying to insert the fourth row or fourth value. If I insert it now D, then what is happening, you can see it was giving error, your oracle is giving error. What is here error, then you can see the sequence yes, q 1 dot next val exceeds maximum value, exceeds maximum value and it cannot be instantiated, okay. 
So that means what is happening here? Already what it was telling to me, already your maximum value already you reached. Already you reached the maximum value. But again are you trying to inserting one more value into the table. The value is not accepted because my sequence already I reached. So that is why we are getting this error. The error is sequence SQ1 next value exceeded already we reached. So, it does not give or does not give the permission to allow the, the fourth value. Okay. So, that means finally, I cannot insert next row into this table. Then finally, my insertion was stopping there and now I can see my table ex, uh, final output is what now. Then you can see the serial number 1, 2, 3. So, this is your starting and minimum value and every increment is how much now? One increment is there and finally, maximum value how much now? 3. Okay. This is how the sequence object once you applied on a particular column, how it was generated, the values we can see it like this. So, this is what sequence object how to create it. So, that means finally, in this in this video session, what we said here means, so we just created first of all the sequence object as per your requirement, you can create now. So, how much starting value, minimum value, increment, maximum, that is depending on you. It is not like that I should give a 1, 1 only or you can give your start value 10, minimum value 10 or 11, 12, 13, 14, whatever you can give it. And the increment is also not like in 1, you can give any number of increment as per your requirement and maximum value is also you can give 100, 200, whatever it was, yes or no. So, first create a sequence object with the particular parameters values as per your requirement and later you can create one new table with some number column data type compulsory. Okay because we want to apply sequence on number type only. Okay, so, you just create one table. After that, you just go for to insert your data. But while you are inserting the data, your sequence, that means where you want to apply your sequence facility, on which column, that column, in place of that column, you just use your sequence dot next value. It is one of the pseudo column and this column is going to generating next by next value. So, that you should use in place of your serial number. And later, as usual, remaining columns you can pass it. Then you can enter all the values, and once it was reached to your maximum value of the sequence, then automatically your system is going to give error when you send one more value into the same table. So, once it was reaching your maximum value, automatically your sequence will be stopped there and it does not give permission to allow any other row. Okay. So, this is how the sequence object is created and how the sequence object is going to applying on the table and how it was generated. Okay. So, it is a small example uh, about your sequence, how to create and how to use, how to use. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.